What's good, Humble Squad? It's your boy, Humble Ziggy. We back here with music, mayhem, and A. If y'all not seeing, yeah, I got a mic now. Y'all can't say shit now. Y'all hearing me nice and clear. You know what? Let me turn y'all down a little. Let me turn myself down a little bit so that way y'all don't think I'm too loud. But yeah, I got a mic now. Y'all can't say nothing now. That's all I'm gonna say. But yeah, but hey, I know for many years y'all been saying about how, oh, Ziggy, when you gonna get a mic? When you gonna get a mic so we can hear you better, we can hear you clearer and all that and such, right? When, when you gonna get it and such? Well, now, motherfuckers, as respectfully, y'all can stop saying that now. Because y'all can't say y'all can't hear me good now. That's all I'm gonna say about that. But either way, we here with Music Mayhem, like I say, and as you see, we got like six songs and such, so we just gonna go straight right into it. So the first song we got, we got Canela Dea with her Nezuko song, After Dark, featuring Frivolous Shara. So hold up, let's show we put it on that. Good quality, we good. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on my socials up there. And without further ado, let's get in the video. Got a drill beat. Mm. I would never think that Nezuko would need a drill type beat. Straight up. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. This is why I always say, like, when it comes to drill beats and such, and if y'all are hearing any music out there, you already know who that is, so sorry for my dad, he can, he always does this, so it is what it is. But, when it comes to drill beats and such, I always say, like, sometimes, it's a good, with drill beats, you don't always gotta be talking about spinning the block and catching ups and such, sometimes it could be songs for, like, this and such. But if you still, you can still put a little gangster, like a put a little like roughness into it and such here and there. But when it comes to like trying to make a song with it, it don't really gotta be about spinning blocks and all that. So it can be like an emotional song. So. Hey. Hold up, and you know when it's frivolous Shara, she comes now for Canela, she did her thing with the singing and such, right? So hey, I can't fall, I can't slide over that. She, You know she always come with them singing, it's always with the ladies who come with that good singing. Because not a lot of time, it's basically like this, when it comes to men doing singing and such, they be cool, right? I'm not saying, and sometimes, because as much as you always hear me hyping like the nerdcore male singers and such 
don't get it twisted nine times out of ten i'm not saying all of them are like trash or anything right but sometimes you gotta realize that nine times out of ten in a way and some of them can fall to it too they be forcing it with the ladies somehow it just comes natural to them honestly tell me if i'm wrong honest to god y'all ladies make this shit seems like it just comes out of nowhere just straight up perfect no matter what so that's why i always say that with the ladies they always just they just built in with that sauce factor about them so now privilege shara take let's go girl Trust to know about his box around the sky. Mm. Pounds on his back, it's true. When I wave his lifted, you can feel it too. Times two, I break out, I break it up. Never leave room for a chance of bluff. Try as you might, your skin is tough. Explode the blood, high burn the ceiling up. Cause I know that my flow it is limitless. Scary at times, but I'm reaping the benefits. Blood demon all when I'm at peak adrenaline. I am the chosen one, say it with emphasis. If you thought I was peak before, circle the block, come and get some more. There's something mm. about me set apart from the evening night and the afternoon. And somehow with Privilege Shower, when she's doing like the singing and such, it's like it's like that sauce level and such. Like I said, that so it's like that sauce level just increases more and more. Like goddamn. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, you already know. Shout out to shout out to the ladies of Nerdcore. Shout out to Canela Della and Frivolous Shara. I did say because if y'all remember a while back, I said that. For the ladies like Canela Della, Fibula Shower, and many more. Anyhow, y'all, I need to start showing more love to the ladies because not a lot of times y'all get played a lot. Which is not hating on y'all, right? But it's like this. For those who won't react to you, hey, you know I got y'all back. So, hey, shout out to the ladies and such. Keep doing y'all thing. Now, we on to the next one, which is Free Soul. Shout out to Otaku Underworld that's on their tour right now. To be. That's right. You're listening to Free Soul. Shout out to Taco on the World. Like I said, they're on their tour right now. If I'm not mistaken, it's like day two or three or so at the time of this. Because they killed it on their first one. And I saw you. I saw you sleep your ash for the sleepwalking. Why didn't you put me there, nigga? You could have put. You could have showed a clip of. You know what I mean? Just remember. Sleepy Ash and Freeze, free, everybody in Otaku World, just remember, I was the first, y'all gotta remember, I was the first nigga to hit that sleepwalk. I've been up all night, but you need no cottage. That was, I was the first one to hit that sleepwalk. So if anybody out there trying to copy me, I want my royalties. I'm kidding. Let's get it. I want my royalties. Hey, Well, Free Soul's music be like on that aggression type. And like I always say, when it comes to like that auto tune, I, I'm, I always keep on saying this. Nine times out of ten, you don't get a lot of people who can like use that auto tune good. I know how to blend it in when it's not too little and not too much 
just at that right one where we can still hear you it sounds fire and it can make and it can make for a hit so that's all i'm saying like with free soul whenever he always keeps doing it it adds an element of where it's just fire Never heard him do this yet. I can tell like that little sleepy ash like feeling right there yeah. where he gets into the deep voice and such I feel like that's a sleepy ash kind of I think like with Otaku Underworld the reason why they so good as they are because each one of them can rely on one another whenever they're making a song together no matter who is it who they are they like always can like what's the word like i know i said rely on one another but like you can say in a way piggyback one another one and off another because they just know how they just got that chemistry about them And that little flow right there. And that little part right there. What's the point? Has a little Callum B in that too. Hold up. Like this little part right here. Hold up. Wait for it. What's the point of living if we just die? Stuck Wait, inside a never-ending cycle, hard to love life. Right here. You ever wonder why? I spark the light that's in our mind. Makes us take it what is time. Truth is just convenient. Got that life. like Callum B type flow right there. Hey. Shout out to Free Soul Man. You already know be with the free soul section right here so hey appreciate y'all but now appreciate you free soul but now hold up let's mute this little ad right here because we ain't trying to hear the ad but hey all i'm saying is hope y'all liking this new mic of mine and hopefully it's not y'all don't say oh you were too loud before now you're too loud nah y'all was always saying about how y'all i needed a mic i got one now so I don't want to hear y'all saying, you're a little bit too loud. Yeah, well, too freaking bad. <laughs> and now we got Game Boy Jones with his Spider-Man 2099 rap now. I'm the bad guy. And it's featuring Schwabity and Black Diamonds. All right. Let's see what you got for us now, Game Boy. If it is a rap song. Because, well, let's see what happens. Production by Omar came up, mixed by Drizzy, mastered by Daddy Fat Snaps. All right, let's get it. Omar on the come up. I'm the bad guy. Bad guy. Yeah. Homie, you don't know about my past life. If you've been through half of what I've been through, then you have spite. Nothing did me dirty, but you haven't seen what that's like. That's Better like. act right, cause I'll be the bad guy. Uh, nothing's new, nothing's new. Uh, if I see a problem, I'm gonna do what oh, I Oh, he back on his rapping vibe. Never watch a move when I move. Mm -hmm. Oh, look. Omar, this beat. 
Nah, this production. Fire, hold up. Hey, get more back in this rapping bag. Hold up, let me see if I'm, if I'm still reacting. Still recording, here we go. Bro, in a way, I'm glad. I hope these. It's basically like this. Don't get me wrong, right? Do not get me wrong when I say this for Game Boy. And I, and I know he's watching. I'm not mad at you for your pop songs, right? Because trust me, I rock with those. But it's. But let's face it. You know you had. I know. And I probably know that his next song is probably going to be on this pump. Pop, pop song and such. Which. But then again, you never know. And that's why I say this is the beauty of the nerd course. You, I don't know why I keep on saying it's the same record, but come on. Y'all have to admit. That's why it's always gonna be so fire to me. Cause you never know what you're gonna get from each artist. Cause one minute, Game Boy come back on his rapping, right? But then the next minute, you know, in his next song, he's gonna be back on his pop. Or hell, who, for all I know, he could be doing like a freaking metal metal like song for another character so you never know but hey i'm just saying for game boy it's a good thing he's coming back to his rapping because let's face it even in his pop songs you know damn well when it comes to him he always gonna have his bars so hey Cause you assuming that I'm ruining future right. truth is you're trying to pull me out when I'm the glue in the sutures right. I am the only thing that's keeping this from falling apart just Never me. ask for the world, never hold it all in my palm I try to save just one girl and a full guitar in my heart my I try heart. to run to the light, but it made me crawl in the dark uh, You would never call for this part But you were holding my spark no. Now you two feet will outlead people like I'm Noah with arts you hold your rem I feed people like I'm Noah with arts? Mmm, Noah Ark, okay, okay had a little God Bible in there. Hold up. People, I leave people like I'm Noah with oh. arts. You I leave people, sorry. Because you were phony. You get the picture of Adobe. I'm done with mm. you fucking punks like you Hobie. Now listen closely. Cause the Ooh, I'm done with you fucking punks like you Hobie. Mmm. Punks like you Hobie. Now listen closely. Because the plot thickens. My mission is to keep the cannon. So it stop twisting. God willing. Keep running rampant. Then your spot's missing. Because I used to be something Ooh. like you. Thought I knew everything. Then fucked up. Now got nothing to lose. I'm the bad guy. Bro, I like black. Black's voice, Black Diamond's voice is so smooth and buttery. That's why I say him and Delta D are like the smoothest, the, the smoothest, sauciest, but smoothest, sauciest niggas in Otaku Underworld. Not to say, and like I said before, everybody in Otaku Underworld can have their own type of style, right? And it could still be fire. But something about when Delta and Black do it, and it's coming off like some just smooth, nonchalant, like you care, but you don't, but you care, you don't care, but you do care. Like, bro, that's, that's why in a way I like music that makes it feel like it's not, like you're not trying to force fit and such, let it come to you natural. Because if it sounds like it's forced, it's not going to stick. So the way how they always just make it be so nonchalant, like, like it's not even like it's rapping, it's like you're talking to them. Hey, if that's y'all know that. Well, it is what it is. Go through this again, seen it clear from miles away, it took emotions from within. We read in them dark corners where false hope gone on. There's a lot of folks die, can't rewind it, just keep going, keep flowing. All the pain 
Bounce from a steady, keep growing. I sink both fangs in her body, she gon' see motion. Uh, I'ma keep hold a whole lot of burdens. The first yeah. thing I learned in this work is that there's no life that's perfect. And now nah. you're trying to change the path, but that was never an option. Never. You're either with me or you're a part of the problem. Uh, I took my heart and my conscience and yeah. fucking locked them away. Yeah. If you're trying to slow me down, I got yeah. a box with your name. What mm. did you say? Else you get it dropped in a grave. If you couldn't tell, I already got a lot of my play. With the purpose, been through ups and downs and lessons, records, life ain't perfect. But I'm certain, everything I'm doing will be worth it. Gotta withstand all the pressure to fix cracks up on the surface. I can see it. Excuse me? Hello. I know damn well I didn't see that. Hold on, y'all. I'm just clicking. There we go. Trying to find the right color scheme for my mic and such. But hold up. What was that high note I heard? Hold up. I'm doing will be worth it. Gotta withstand all the pressure to fix cracks up on the surface. I can see it clear with no vernacular that you wasn't built to wear the moniker. Mm. Hey, bitch, I'm on the I don't want to intervene by any means. I just want to end this fucking misery. Yeah, I'm the bad guy. Bad guy. Homie, you don't know about my past. Okay, here in your background, green boy. I love that. Yes, Game Boy. Come back to more rap. Come back to your more rapping. I'm just saying. I could be like, I know I'm jumping to conclusions, but I'm just saying, Game Boy. Come back to your rapping songs and such, cause you know damn well that is how you are. Not to say you're. Like I say, not to say you're popping, your pop songs ain't fire, but something about when you do that rapping and such, it's just when it comes like it's a sauce, like that sputterness come out for you. So, hey, I'm just saying, come back to your rap, come back to them rap songs, man. I'm just, hey, but either way, it won't be fire nonetheless, whether it's your pops or whether it's your raps, the rap songs, fire none the way. So, hey, shout out to Game Boy, Strawberry, and Black. Y'all did y'all think. Next now, pull up after these damn ads. Can't wait till when I get YouTube Premium so that way I don't have to worry about these goddamn ads. Because they be annoying. And next now, pull up. We got Tana Quest with his Vigilante Deku rap featuring Astrid. Ooh, metal. Or rock. Actually, could we both? If you notice as of late, there's been a lot more of like Demon Slayer, I Hear Academia, and the Spider Man across the and the Spider the Spider Man movie across the Spider Verse. Because with those three, you see how. Look, all I'm saying is so weird that if you really think about it, two of those ones that two of those animes that I've just said, the Spider the My Hero Academia and Demon Slayer, those are like the ones that really make your ch really are the ones that like really impactful in a way for the nerd course scene. But either way, all I'm saying is when it comes to like new seasons and such hey nine times out of ten with them new seasons it gonna give you a new new inspiration so hey i'm just so hey i don't care if a matter if certain people are saying about oh oh you're just gonna rap about the same nigga no it's not about if it's the same character it's about different perspectives of how a character is so a lot, that's why I say with a lot of nerdcore rappers, you always get different things from one specific character they do. So I don't care what you say. But either way, let's get into this. Sorry. Let's get it. There's no place for me here now. So don't wait. Broken away 
There we go. That metal, metal rock, whatever. And, and we got singing Connor, cause, cause in a way, with Connor he can do rapping and he can do the singing. So when he does, when he's on, I can, and in a way I can tell. Connor is more of like that singing artist, singing nerdcore artist than most rapping one. Cause you can see, in a way, you can t when you, you when an artist, you can tell which style of them fits them more, right? So with Connor, not to say with his rapping, right? Man is destructive. Don't get it twisted. But when he's doing his singing. It just seems more not force or anything. So I'm just saying. Rowling. Ooh, hip hop switch. There it is. There's that rapping. Oh look, there's there's the rapping I was talking about. There it is. Like I. It's, honestly, let me just shut the fuck up about no matter which rapping, no matter what style they do, shut the fuck up. Cause either way, both, no matter what artist, no matter which style of artist does, whether it's a rapping one, singing, or both, shut the. Let me shut the fuck up. Cause at the end of the day, they're both great. already hear this on the rock charts because let's say if y'all don't think nerdcore songs don't be charting this one if i'm not mistaken it was fable one of fable's songs or dc8 songs is charting right now i'm telling y'all y'all and for any reactor too who's been reacting to nerdcore songs for many years i'm telling y'all songs like these for nerdcore really can can really outperform any other song that's mainstream rise or whatever because let's face it not a lot of times in other people's songs for like underground or mainstream mostly mainstream let's be honest it's barely any effort put into their songs they stick to the same old pattern that they've been using that they that got them blown up with the nerdcore scenes, you always hear a different in you always hear a difference in them. When it comes to the lyrics, the style, or just the music in general. So I don't care what anybody say. <laughs> Could have said turn me into a vi but then again would it fit turn me turn me into a yeah that would have been way too much yeah to be honest yeah i don't know what i was saying because i was saying like turn me vigilante wouldn't you just say like turn me 
but then knowing how he was writing knowing how the floor was right there yeah it would have it would have been too much if he would have forced in another word too much so yeah where it is it's good turn me visual and see I swear. Bro, I can like literally hear. Let me talk to y'all good. I can like literally hear this in like WWE. If WWE you went to back to like their old ways of doing wrestling games, like SmackDown versus Raw type of games, these are songs I would definitely hear in the menu business where in the menu in search where I'm picking my character and I just rock out to this shit. Tell me you don't feel like picking up freaking, uh, uh, like freaking Brock Lesnar versus, uh, freaking Cody Rhodes and such. Nigga, if you don't think you don't, man, you're crazy. Especially when this, that beat drop, and drum. Vigilante. Hey, shout out to Connor Quest, man, because he's a, honest to God. If you really think about it, Connor Quest is like one of the most I want. I want to. I don't want to say underrated, but if you really, especially in the UK trio, really think about this. You've gotten more people be playing a lot more of Rustage and Schwabity and a and little bit of Connor Quest. Which is crazy. And somehow when all three of them come together. They go insane. So. I don't want it seems like Connor Quest ain't just underrated or anything. Because that's far from that. But I'm just saying. Y'all need to put more respect on Connor's name man. Because nigga can drop. Nigga drop some bangers bangers. What right? is he talking about? But either way. Shout out to Connor Quest and Asterix. They did great on this one. So next one now. We got. We got Nerd Out, sorry, with the Spot song, Nemesis. Is that Ben? Nemesis, oh. You never thought through the action. You never thought about the damage. And wasn't... And the thing is, Ben was on Rustage's spot song, right? So that's crazy that he doing this one. Nemesis, oh. You never thought through the action. You never thought about the damage. You never thought I'd be back. Never thought this would happen. Never knew what I thought. You won't forget me now. Shouldn't have let me down. Shouldn't have let me can say he's in a way he brought that the way how he was doing in the chorus on Rusty's song to this one so hey I rock with it either way got that mysterious vibe about it it got that like if I'm not mistaken it got that like siren head type feeling like the way how it sounds so mysterious, like, it sounds like, like, and especially in the background where it, all those, like, effects sound more of like a siren head type sound effect. Like, I'm not lying, y'all. Y'all cannot tell me it don't, it don't have that, like, aura. Because I know it does. I you. I think it's time you meet your nemesis. Take it all from me. 
Genesis. Oh. Yep, that, that mysterious vibe. Oh, I won't forget all the laughter I'm gonna get what I'm after I say revenge is the answer Look at me and say my name out loud You won't forget me now Shouldn't have let me down Shouldn't have let me out This is a canon event One that you'll never forget I'll never let you forget You created me Just like the Bible thing So mysterious It's time you meet your nemesis As you can tell, I'm a nigga who loves any type of music As a, That's the thing People need to realize with me I don't care how the music I don't care how mostly it's perceived right i don't care how which way they put it as long right as long as it just is fire right because i don't care which you can because with these rocks with certain rock songs right i don't care if you want to make a rock song it just gotta be fire because if it's trash i'm gonna say it out front i don't care if you like it i don't care if she likes it i don't care if anybody else like it and I don't, and I've said this before. Y'all remember me saying this. I don't follow trends of how people, whenever they hear a certain song that comes out on a Friday or so, depending on what the music is, I don't follow them. If I listen to it, I mean, think about it like this. If y'all remember, right back in 2020, I said this when Lil Baby's song "We Paid" right came out. Motherfucker, that was two months ago when that's it, it was basically like this July 2020. I said it in a reaction, right? That song has always been on TikTok, on Instagram, and such, right? And I'm hearing it everywhere, especially yeah, yeah, yeah we ain't paid, right? I said in that reaction, I'll probably maybe I'm like adding more, but the point is the song was two months old. Right? A month and a half old, two months old, depending, right? But that song is old, right? But the thing is, I've never like heard the fully full like song. So the so and plus one of the comments when I was looking at that when my video came out, they were saying about nigga, this song has been out ever since. Talking about the old What can I say? And hell, you can even see the thumbnail when you see it. I'm so I was so super late to it nigga i was super late to it so trust me when i say this i don't care how you i don't that's what i be saying i don't follow other people's trend of saying which song is fire and how they want to use it for their stories and whatnot on instagram and such nigga i want to find the song for myself that seems fire to me if i see if i look if i hear that it's fire if I hear that it's fire, that's all right with me. I could care too. I can care what you would want to hear. I can care what you say about it, if it's fire or not. If I think it's fire. Because you can show me a song that is... You can show me a song that you think is fire, but when I hear it, that shit trash. Forget. Sorry for the long rain. Let you forget. You created Time you meet your nemesis. You took it all from me. I'll take it all from you. I think it's time you meet your nemesis. Nemesis. Oh. oh. I think it's time you meet your nemesis. Oh, that area like this. Like that, man.
<coughs> Sorry. Hey, I just like that whole atmospheric effect about it. Like mysterious vibe and such. Rock with it. Just shout out to Nerd Out. Yeah, I want to hear about no funeral shit. Either way. But now to end off this music mayhem and such, we got contrast, bad man lyric. Lyric AMV, so let's get it. Let's end it off with a banger. As we only read do with contrast. And look. Let me say off this record. I know he released it already. But here's the thing. That was just the official AMV. I be waiting till they put out the lyric AMV because I don't care. I need to know what the freak he was saying. So even if when the song was originally dropped out like a week ago, I'm waiting until when they put out the lyric AMV. So I don't get twisted up on what they say. But let's get it. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Sorry. It's I need a moment. I'm the best, the best, I'm show voting. Mm. Get the flow in the strap, we no scoping. Get the money already, the cash flowing. Hey. And I'm, and I'm, hey. I'm the hey. best man. Get the song for cap like I'm the captain. Hey. That money hey. Cash, hey. Hey. Cash hey. hey, Baby boy, baby bad like I'm Jackson. You mm. keep on Mike Jack, we move it like Rambo. Hey. Talk to me wrong, you get handled. You might get slapped, we break ankles. Soon as that beat drop, we in hammer. You all know I'm the man like Lando. Cal Rizzi and Flo, I've been a minute. Yeah, I was like, man, with Khan, and look, I saw, and I saw Khan do like a, sh I, I haven't seen it fully, but I see like Khan said, what would have happened if I was on Double XL, motherfucker, y'all, look here, Khan, if anyhow Contrast was on this year's Double XL, I don't care who you got there, Contrast would have, shit. Let me let me see this into the mic. If contrast was on this year's double XL, he would have washed everybody there. Every freaking body there. He would have washed them all apart. Whatever. Cause I know people oh cause I know you know what I know? I know they always say, Oh, you know they do have writings, right? I don't care. It's basically like this. I don't care if you do have a freestyle, if it is a written, if you're doing it off the top of the head, or if you've written it out. Point is, if it ain't fire, it ain't gonna count. So, so with contrast, I don't care if he would have went in there off the top of his head or written. Point is, if he was on double XL, he would have washed out everybody straight up. So I don't care what you say. Like we move it like Rambo. Talk to me wrong, you get handled. You might get slapped, we break ankles. Soon as that beat drop, we end hammer. You all know I'm the man like Lando. Cal Rizzi and Flo. I've been a minister to public like with GD and goes. They don't mm. shots, but I parry like the finish. I've been a menace like wherever GD and goes. Shout out to GD and cause that nigga be going everywhere. Shout out to the beta squad. Easy and flow. I've been a minute to the public level. Like Jitty and goes. They throw shots, but I parry like the finish show. No way to. They throw shots, but I parry like the Phidias show. You mean Phidias and Ferb, nigga? Put the Phidias and Ferb, nigga. What you mean? Don't disrespect my nigga. Don't disrespect my nigga Ferb. Because Phidias always do the talking. Y'all forget who really be doing the heavy lifting. Put respect on Ferb's name. Fuck is you talking about? This pen, I'm dropping jewels, door city of gold. I never slept. So they come in the store and I'm in attraction. But she know she right there with me up on the brackets. We be moving, but, but, but bad to bad. It's little devil on my shoulder when we get active. Hey, she put angel, put demon on day. She moved dangerous, all feelings go away. Feel like a fable, she let me do so with the gaze. We see in the mix, you know it's pain, pain, pain. Play no games with me, bumping that heart, breaking 808. Heavy, Ooh. thinking that I'm pain. Shout out to Con Shout out to Kanye, the old Kanye, not this new one where he's on his. Crazy anti Semitic vibes and such. Look, Kanye himself is, is just a crazy pe person and such. That's why most people are bumping to his old music rather than his new ones. So he is with hey, play no games with me. Bumping that hard, breaking 808. Heavy. heavy. Thinking that I'm paranoid, but I always stay ready. Cause you know what Kanye. it takes. You bad news, you play plenty. I need a moment. Had to set things right, slow to roll quick. Cause you know who you're dealing with, who you roll with. Like Baby, you should know what they call me. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the Batman. Got a star on my cap like I'm the captain. 
Hey. Hey. We in Hamo, you all know I'm the man like Lambo. Cow is and flow in the sky walking like I got infinity stones. No the vibe got a shaking, but they hips in their bones. When I arrive, they go give me like nobility foes. She told me she don't play no games. Check on chess. Every king need a queen that don't settle for less. So I put her if you riding with the best of the best. You know I'm bad. Bad. I'm a bad man. Gotta throw my cap like I'm the captain. With that money attached, that's how we cash in. Bro, contrast. Contrast music is always gonna be so fire. Like, god damn it. This is another song that's going on the playlist, that's for sure. I'm bad, 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 bad. I'm a bad man. Gotta throw my cap like I'm the captain. captain. With that money attached, that's how we catch it. Baby boy, I've been bad like I'm Jackson. Jackson. Get your Michael mic Jackson. jack, we move it like Rambo. Talk to me wrong, you get handle. You might get stuck, we break ankles. So you gonna be drunk, we get hammo. You won't know I'm this. the man like Lando. Hey man, shout out to everybody that was on this music mayhem man, cause y'all made me wanted to do the sambo on this motherfucker. And hey, like I say, for y'all saying I don't, y'all saying I don't talk loud as much in search, or I need a mic. Well, now I got a mic, so y'all can stop bothering me. That now I know it was const, I know it's always constructive criticism and all, but please now guys. Stop saying that. For the love of God. <laughs> but either way, appreciate y'all for always watching these reactions all the way through, man. And hey, if you made it this far in the video, comment down below. New mic. <laughs> that makes me know you made it this far. It's been your boy, Homie Ziggy, signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. Lego.